All right, so here we are. A much bigger look to this game. Now, um, Manta up here just completed this forest, and it had a memoir in it. So the tile he just got is this one here with the canoe. When you, when you place the canoe down, you'll automatically score points immediately, okay? So how do you score points with the uh, canoe? Well, it actually has to do with lakes. You're going to score two points per lake that make up the river system. So since he placed it here, okay, in this river system here, he's going to score two points for each lake that's part of this river system. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve points. He scores twelve points because that's uh, the tile. That's how that tile works. So when the canoe tile shows up and you put it part of a river system, you're going to score po a lot of points, of course, if there's a lot of lakes in that river system. And it's an immediate um, it's an immediate scoring. Okay, now um, you also notice there's something special going on here. This will count towards the end of the game. This will count towards end scoring at the end of the game, so we'll get to it in a moment. You also notice this tile here has a big fire, a big wildfire. That's the same thing. It will also it will also change the way scoring happens at the end of the game. So we'll talk about that momentarily. But before we continue, I want to go ahead and place um, another tile. And um, let's just say I had completed another forest earlier and I was taking my additional turn and my additional turn is placing this one down. So let's say I place it right here, this tile here, okay? This tile is um, a, is called basically a hunting trap, okay? This is a pit trap, and this is a hunting trap. So I'm going to place it right here. When you place the hunting trap down right away, you score a sort of like a minor grassland scoring. Now, normally... When you're scoring uh, for the grasslands, your hunter is the one scoring for the grassland. But when you place this tile here, and you're the one that placed it, you're going to score points based on animals that are surrounding the trap that you placed. Sort of like a monastery in the original Carcassonne. Um, so it's going to only affect the animals that are on these tiles that surround it. So all eight of these tiles that surround this trap are going to score you points. Um, there's a saber-toothed tiger, um, there's three mammoths, there's actually two saber-toothed tigers, because there's one right here, um, it's also, uh, not gonna count, it's not, it's not gonna count this one, because this one isn't part of the same grassland, but it's gonna count this one, and this one, and you can't see it very well, but it counts these two, because it's part of the same grassland. It's also going to count this deer up here. There's a deer here. And it's going to count this mammoth. And there's also a deer right here that's also um, in the same uh, grassland. Um, now, the way the animals score will depend on a couple of things. First of all, saber-toothed tigers, they are, are also hunting animals. So basically, they will hunt deer. So if you have a saber-toothed tiger in your grassland, it's going to basically take out a deer out of the equation. Now you'll notice we have two saber-toothed tigers and we have two deer. So to help you remember this, they have these little handy X's. So for every pair of saber-toothed tigers and deer, you will take them basically out of the game. And we actually have three deer, sorry. No, no, that's not this, that's not part of, sorry. Now, normally, if this was a normal grass scoring, we'd have more deer here, for instance, because that one is outside of the equation. Now, um, here's what's really cool about canceling out deer. Now, even though I'm only counting the animals that surround this tile, with this particular trap... Um, no, not with this one. It's with this one here. This one will actually do something differently. So we'll get to that. But yes, I'll have to take out a pair each. So I have to take out this saber-toothed tiger. 
and uh, this deer with that saber-toothed tiger. This saber-toothed tiger here will take out this deer up here. So now they are out of the equation for the scoring. Now mammoths will score three points. So even uh, for regular grassland scoring, they'll score three points. But for this particular tile, they're going to score three points. So I've got three mammoths. So that's nine points. Um, if you have an auroch, which are these over here, they look like bulls. If you have an auroch, you'll score two points. I don't have any aurochs that are part of this particular scoring. And the saber-toothed tigers took out the two deer. Deer score you one point, but since I no longer have any deer, thanks to the saber-toothed tigers, and saber-toothed tigers don't actually give me any points either, um, regardless, um, I uh, that's all I'm going to get is the nine points for this particular tile right now. Now, let's kind of end the game and just kind of talk about how scoring will work for, obviously, the rest of the game. But before we do that, there was one more tile that we didn't talk about that isn't already placed out, like this one here. And there's even a raft on this tile here that's been placed, which we'll get to momentarily. This is the shaman. You'll even notice there's like a little guy there on it. He, um... When you place this tile down, the player who places the tile down, they will immediately have to take off a meeple off of a location that they obviously, um, um, you know, they will obviously have to take one off uh, immediately. Now, let's just say that one wasn't there. But let's say you, this is good. This is actually very useful. Let's say it's towards the ends of the game and you're getting to the point where you're thinking that uh, you might not be able to finish a river or a forest. But you're out of meeples, so you can't place any more meeples. And you would like to place a meeple somewhere, maybe to score points immediately, or maybe to place it down as a hunter for the grassland scoring. If you manage to get the shaman, you'll get to take off said meeple and put it back into your supply. And then, obviously, get to use it for something else. Maybe even this tile that you just placed. So that's really cool. Um, but, you know, there's only one of these. So the chances of you getting the shaman is slim to none. So that's that how that tile is going to work. Now, let's talk about end game scoring. Okay, so unlike in regular Carcassonne, this is why this is different from regular Carcassonne. In regular Carcassonne, you get additional points for uncompleted roads and uncompleted villages and things like that. You'll still get some points. Um, in this game, you will not get any points for uncompleted forests and uncompleted rivers. So go ahead and take off all of the meeples that would score you um, for uncompleted stuff. So I've got, I took that one off. I'll take this one off because they're not going to score me anything. That one was technically not there. Anyways, so now the only, the only things that are going to score you points are these special tiles that will change things up. Your hunters. So we got a hunter here and we've got a hunter up here and I've got a hunter over here. Um, and then uh, we also have obviously um, these tents here. So there's one in this river system, and there's one in this river system over here. So let's talk about the um, the uh, the 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 river system, the huts first. So how are they going to score points? Um, let's see here. Okay, so you're going to score uh, for the huts. You're going to score one point for each fish that's in the river system. That's how the huts are going to score you points. However, the this here, the raft, will add th will change things up a little bit. The river, the 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 raft here makes its river system more valuable. In addition to scoring one point for each fish in this river system, the scoring player also scores one point for each lake in the system. So, so this tile here which has the raft, is going to score um, me, because I'm the player that has this river system. It's going to score me one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven points for the lakes. Plus, because my hut is here, it's going to score me uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, uh, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, um, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one and 22 points in total for that river system. That's a lot of points, but that's how that's gonna work. Now, uh, Manta over here, he has his own, obviously, uh, river system, so he's just gonna get one, yeah, there's no fish there, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven fish. He's got seven fish in his river system, so he scores seven points, okay? Now, Let's talk about, um, obviously, the last remaining tiles here that change things up. So obviously, um, we talked about a little bit about over here, scoring points and things um, for the tile there, but uh, hunters are basically the same thing in that sense. But there are some things here that will change things up. The uh, pit trap, which is right here, it modifies basically just, all of this surrounding it that make up the same grassland, okay? And it's going to double points for animals that are part of this grassland here that are part of the eight tiles that make up that surround it. It doesn't include this one because it's a different grassland. Same thing with this one, but it would include this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, okay? So let's move the camera just a little bit so you can see better. Okay, so he's got his his hunter here, okay? Now we need to find all of the, um, there's one, two, three, there's three saber-toothed tigers in this grassland. So we have to take out the pairs that are there. Um, how many deer are there? There's one here, one here, um, I, that's all I see. I just see the two deer that are part of this grassland. So we cover one deer here and one saber-toothed tiger there, okay? And um, we also have uh, obviously more pairs. I need more of those X's, so let me grab some more. So we have another saber-toothed tiger up here and now we have to cover up another deer. So we cover that one up as well. So uh, now um, we have one additional saber tooth tiger, but we don't have more deer. So we won't score points for deer here. Um, so for because of this trap here doubles the points, it will double the points for this Auroch and this Mammoth, and it will double the points for this Auroch and this Mammoth, and that's it. It won't double points for this mammoth because even though it's part of the same grassland, it's not one of the eight that possibly surround the pit trap. So, basically, he is going to get, Manta is going to get three points for this mammoth, so three, and then this is six, so that's nine, and then uh, this is four points because it's double this, so um, that's 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, um, and then this is six, obviously, so that's 21. And then this would make it 25 points. So he just got a ton of points just for that one area, thanks to this pit trap. So obviously that's a powerful tile to get if you can manage to, you know, obviously get one of these hunters in the same grassland as that pit trap, obviously. Now the wildfire over here, it actually scares away all saber-toothed tigers that are in a grassland that have a wildfire. So that means that instead of covering up the deer, we will just use these X's to cover up the saber-toothed tigers because they are afraid of the fire. And um, so we don't have to worry about that. So now he has a hunter up here at the very top here and he's gonna score two points for this Auroch, so two, and then three for the deer, four for the, four, and then uh, five, six, 
and seven. So he gets seven points. He would have lost two points because of those saber two tigers. But thanks to that wildfire tile here, um, he didn't have to worry about the saber two tigers ruining his score. But basically, that is how you're going to score for the entire game. So uh, this video was a little bit longer than I wanted, but it was definitely a, there's definitely a lot more going on with this um, with this game. So thank you guys for watching. If this was in, uh, in, if this helped you out, don't forget to leave a like. See you guys again next time.